What's up, everybody? It's Bunny2997 here, and I have some home front gameplay for you all. And I know I haven't posted up a video in a while, and I will talk about that later. Uh, anyway, so I noticed that a lot of new subscribers have, you know, subscribed to my channel, and that you know it means a lot to me. And th so thank you for subscribing now let's get on to the gameplay I should say now this is some home front gameplay and this is from a while back I should I think I think it's a while back I don't know I haven't played home front in a while uh, it's, it was probably like the first three weeks probably the first week it was out because I, I moved on to crisis 2 and I'll talk about both of those games in this commentary and I'll have some crisis 2 gameplay coming up but uh this gameplay actually was really lucky because uh, there's an achievement in this game and I will uh, I'll talk about it and it's called I'm in Battle Commander right now and Battle Commander is pretty much the amount of kills like if you get five kills you have like a little star on your head and enemy the enemy team will have it's a priority threat and they'll pretty much the game pretty much just says kill this person and you get a reward because the battle points on the right bottom right hand corner that's battle points and you get it for each kill or for capturing an objective and it pretty much just goes to your kill streaks um, so there's certain kill streaks you can't have in the well I shouldn't even say kill streaks because there's there's certain vehicles you can't have on certain maps and uh, this would be a map that you cannot have a vehicle on uh, the pro so, so something about I didn't like about this game was that they didn't put it on a tactical layout for uh, players that used it, and it is really hard to use um, for people that you know use tactical layout in Call of Duty and other things. Uh, but it's fine. And right there, the priority threat. I just got it, and it says kill one for next level. And I guess it was lagging kind of thing, and I don't know how I kill this dude. It's such a mystery. But, um, you'll see it kind of lag, I should say. Like, I'll kill three enemies, but I won't get a star. But if I, like, kill one, and it's just still kill three, it'll, it'll give me the star. But, um, so pretty much this game has to do with, uh, the K Koreans being able to invade the U.S. because of an EMP that uh, they they were able to pretty much just uh, use and this marker oh my god <laughs> I remember this game and I remember that marker because I was trying to get the five star threat which I happened to do and that parrot drone just loves to mark people so I was really scared that they were gonna rush me and I couldn't get them and I think I am using the AK uh, I, I can't remember the name of it, but it is, it's it's pretty much an AK-47, and uh, right now, as you can see, I'm just trying to hold them off from B, because we have B and A, and later in the video, you can see that the, do it's pretty much, this, this game mode is like domination, yet the flags change, and you're going to see in a sec that the flags will change right now. And so the flags have changed into their spawn zone, which will, uh, it's just pretty much helps them out to, you know, come back from this win. They're, it's in their spawn zone, so they're able to capture it pretty fast. Uh, so, yeah. So, let me talk about now Crisis 2. I know I'm kind of switching back and forth. And, but Crisis 2 is a futuristic warfare, which in case like a, a virus an alien virus pretty much comes and uh, pretty much takes us over uh, the virus kills pretty much um, uh, not America but the every country this uh, the aliens are called the Seth and there's a kill streak in the game that's actually called the Seth airstrike I mean Seth gunship or it's, I think it's gunship and you pretty much get a Seth gunship which <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it flies around and kills pretty much. Uh, the thing, I love Crisis 2. I, 
It's one of my favorite games, and it's one of the best single players I have ever played in my life. Uh, I go back and play the single player over and over. I probably I, this is like my third playthrough of it. Uh, the it's it's a it's a pretty good game. I mean, the campaign was uh, a decent amount of time. That if you were to look for the hidden things, it was probably about 12 hours to get because there is there's dog tags, car keys, collectibles. I think I'm missing one more. Gosh darn it! But I don't, uh, there's pretty much you know collectibles and just got. An achievement for finding everything, thanks to my friend, he was able to help me out, and we got that done. But I've been what I enjoy about the multiplayer is just uh, I play mainly capture the relay, which is like capture the flag, but it's you it's more of a team oriented game just because when you grab the relay, the only gun you have is your pistol, and the pistols aren't. You know the best weapons in the world to come against a a scar, which is in the game, or you know an assault rifle or any other gun that's not a pistol. Uh, you have to hip fire it as if it was like you were dual wielding, like a CZ. So there's no aiming down sights with it. So pretty much you need a teammate or team that can help you out. And uh, it, it's just so fun to play because. It's in like every case. Like there's an extraction game mode, where you you do it again. You grab it with uh, your left hand, and you have a pistol in your right hand. And you have to take it to the extraction point. So it's more of a team-oriented game than anything. Um, I just <laughs> I can't I can't address how much I love Crisis 2. Um, I've I I knew it was going to be a hard game to get used to, and a lot of I. Not many, I mean, it, it needs to have more pl uh, people in it because the game itself is just so great that it doesn't have. It has the potential of, you know, getting its sales as if as the sales of like Homefront, and it ha it doesn't even have that much. I think it has like three hundred thousand. I think is the top right now, and that's what Black Ops actually has. <laughs> I got on earlier today. Black Ops lost like most of their stuff. All right. So, also let's talk about the re the released map pack for Black Ops, and it's it was all right. It was it wasn't supposed to be released, but the map pack is called Escalation, and I know a lot of the commentators have talked about it, and um, people that come off uh, out that. I remember talking about it was, you know, and say gaming talked about it. They didn't talk about much. They just it was a rumor thing, and nobody knows if that's a, it's. We're not sure if it's rumored. I'm not sure if it's still rumored or if uh, Treyarch con confirmed it. But Xtra's talked about it, and here's my thing about it. Um, I'll probably go back to it, but I'm only going back for zombies. Um, I don't think I would go back to that game for a uh, for a, you know for the maps. I might play it a little bit to give you and show you guys if it does come out. It's rumored to come out May third, I think, and it, and uh, where we got the information, uh, it was leaked from a Australian uh, Australia, like uh, I can't remember it was a website, and so I was on fast too because I was. I just remember it was like posted up on the it was like on the you know the most recent news and it was like three hours ago it was, re it was released so it's pretty funny but uh, hopefully I will have some gameplay for you guys on the um, not map pack but the uh, uh, what's it called Crisis 2 uh, I, I enjoy that game and I plan to bring you guys some gameplay uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this up pretty quick. But we'll see. Ah, am I about to get my five star threat? I think I am. But uh, thank you for watching. This has been Bunny2997. Peace.